stop right now, we'll be all right. He did that. Amen. 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 Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 through 14. The scripture has already been read, but I'm going to read it one more time from the New Living Translation version. And it says, the New Living Translation renders the passage like this. I focus on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. The Apostle Paul compared the Christian journey to that of an athlete running a race with uncompromising determination to reach the finish line and, with, and win the prize. In order to win the race, a runner has to remain focused and dismiss every distraction from the mind. Forgetting, forgetting means to completely dismiss Forgetting means to stop dwelling on it. Forgetting means to stop rehashing the past. Tell your neighbor, stop rehashing stuff. Forgetting what is behind. In other words, stop looking back. Stop looking back. I would be lying if I stood here on tonight and if I said that sometimes it don't get hard because sometimes it does get hard. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Sometimes I want to take a pause for the cause. This one thing for certain, pausing is not an option for Mr. Busky. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, good, bad, and indifferent, I must move forward. I got places to go and people to see. And what I mean by that ministry, God has already predained tables for me to sit at. God has already predained people for me to minister to. Amen. So I cannot stop. I must go. I must go forward. Stopping is not an option. Amen. Ministry. I cannot afford, nor do I have the time to dwell on what was. Pastor had meant to talk about time. Time today and this time that we're living in is a commodity. It's a precious commodity. Time is expensive, amen? Time is expensive. My time is expensive, so I don't have time to waste. I can't afford, nor do I have the time to dwell on what was. Forgetting those things which are behind, past relationships, Memories, failures, temptations, relationships. In 2023, I've learned to accept people for who they are and place them where they belong. If you're not growing with me, if you're not helping me grow, you got to go. Memories, forgetting what was and reaching for what is to come. Temptations, God has always provided a way of escape. Failures, I'm winning because I'm still standing. The pastor preached a word about um, access. Guess what? Access denied in 2020-24. I forbid any past relationships, memories, failures, temptations to enter into um, 2024. Remain prayerful. Our diet is prayer. Our prenatals are the word of God. Pray my strength in the Lord. So much Grace family for watching the video all the way through. Listen, if this video met you where you were, like, I mean, it turned your house upside down and you want to experience it some more, click this playlist right here. I promise you, it's some more that's going to meet you right again. Yes, sir. And then if you really, really love our channel, click right here, man, and subscribe to us. Stay connected with us. Click uh, the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you can stay in tune with us. Stay connected with us. Hashtag Grace, Grace is the place. place. We love you.